We start with tense moments today in Albuquerque near Knob Hill. People at a Jewish place of worship had to evacuate after a bomb threat. Police say whoever called it in mentioned the war between Israel and Hamas. Want to get right to Griffin Rushton, who's live outside that synagogue near Lomas and Jefferson. Griffin, it took police a couple of hours to clear that scene today. Yeah, it did, Tommy. Officers blocked off roads for nearly four hours while APD's bomb squad searched the building behind me looking for any type of explosive. Fortunately, police did not find any evidence of a bomb and were able to safely clear the area. An APD spokesperson says the threat was first reported by an operator at the New Mexico crisis hotline. An unidentified man was reportedly messaging that operator and said he was inside the synagogue with a bomb in a backpack and that the bomb was set to go off at a certain time. APD leaders say officers arrived on scene as the building was being evacuated. Our bomb squad came out to the scene, ensured no one was in there. Um, they did locate a suspicious backpack inside the, the building, so they took their time um, and, and did what they usually do with the bomb unit. They, they determined that there were no explosives in the backpacks. APD leaders revealed that backpack was actually a medic bag and there was nothing suspicious inside it. A rabbi also told police they did not see anyone else inside the synagogue as they evacuated. Police leaders revealed that the suspect did express negative emotions towards Israel and the ongoing conflict in the Middle East while messaging that hotline operator. But they say investigators are not making any assumptions about a potential motive here or whether or not this incident was a hoax. We want to take these calls very seriously. Um, so in that vein, we did reach out. Our area commanders reached out to other Jewish synagogues throughout the city. As you know, we've been stepping up patrols and keeping an eye on them. We wanted to let, let them know about this situation here and see if anything else suspicious uh, was going on at their synagogues. And there have been no other reports at this point. APD leaders revealed that this is the first reported threat against a local synagogue or Jewish organization since the violence between Israel and Hamas broke out earlier this month. And Griffin, we know there is an increased security threat at synagogues, and that's for synagogues all over the nation right now. Yeah, there is, Tommy. Synagogues in Utah, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, and North Carolina have all been evacuated because of reported bomb threats in the recent weeks. And today, the president of a Detroit synagogue was found stabbed to death outside of her home. Local police have not identified any suspects or if there is evidence of a politically charged motive. Albuquerque police leaders, though, are asking anyone with information about today's bomb threat to give them a call at 242 COPS. They've been talking about increased patrols since the beginning of that conflict. All right, Griffin, thank you so much.